Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you're all doing well. This is my Finishing the Bible One Year Project. You are, we are on day 127. 127. Today we'll be doing Isaiah 36, 37, 38, and 39. It feels like Isaiah is going so slow. Going by so slow. But anyway, let's, uh, let's just jump right in. Isaiah 36. One. Now it came to pass in the fourteenth year of King Hezekiah that Sennacherib, king of Assyria, came up against all the defense cities of Judah and took them. Again, you know, nothing but chaos and war. The king of Assyria sent Rabshakeh from Lachish to Jerusalem unto King Hezekiah with a great army, and he stood by the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field. Then came forth unto him Eliakim, Hilkiah's son, which was over the house, and Shebna, the scribe, and Joah, Asap's son, the recorder. And Rabshakeh said unto them, Say ye now to Hezekiah, Thus saith the great king, the king of Assyria, What confidence is this wherein thou trusteth? I say, Sayest thou, but they are but vain words. I have counsel and strength for war. Now whom dost thou trust that thou rebelst against me? Lo, and thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So the Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all that trust in him. But if thou say to me, We trust in Jehovah our Elohim, it is not he whose high places and whose altars Hezekiah hath taken away, and said to Judah and to Jerusalem, Ye shall worship before this altar. And therefore give pledges, I pray thee, to my master, the king of Assyria, and I would give thee two thousand horses, if thou be able on thy part to set riders upon them. How then wilt thou turn away the face of one captain of the least of my master's servants, and put thy trust on Egypt for chariots and horsemen? And I am now come up without Jehovah against this land to destroy it. Jehovah said unto me, Go up against this land and destroy it. Then said Eliakim and Shebna and Joah unto Rab. Shekeh, speak, I pray thee, unto the servants in thy in the Syrian language, for we understand it, and speak not unto not to us in the Jews' language, in the ears of the people that are on the wall. But Rab Shekeh said, Hath my master sent me to thy master and to to thee to speak these words? Hath he not sent me to the men that sit upon the wall, that they may eat their own and drink their own okay you are you guys can see that that seems really weird i don't know why that's in the bible with you and i feel like i've already read this i'm pretty sure i've already read this in another chapter somewhere wow that feels so deja vu all right is that 36 13. then rab Shekes stood and cried with a loud voice in the jews language and said hear ye the words of the great king king of assyria i have read this before in in uh i don't know some kings or something Thus saith the king, Let not Hezekiah deceive you, for he shall not be able to deliver you. Yeah, we read this. Is this just like a recap? Because we definitely read this, because I remember reading this part, and I'm like, Why is this in the Bible? Eat their own and drink their own. I don't get it. So yeah, we, we've read this. Neither let Hezekiah make you trust in Jehovah, saying, Jehovah will surely deliver us. This shitty shall not be delivered into the hand of the king of Assyria. Hearken not to Hezekiah. For thus saith the king of Assyria, Make an agreement with me by a present, and come out to me, and eat ye every one of his vine, and every one of his fig tree, and drink every one of the waters of his own cistern, until I come and take you away to a land like your own land, a land of corn and wine, and a land of bread and vineyards. Beware lest Hezekiah persuade you, saying, Jehovah will deliver us. Hath any of the gods of the nations delivered his land out of the hand of the king of Assyria? Where are the gods of Hamath and Aphad? Where are the gods of Sepharvaim? And have they delivered Samaria out of my hand? Who are they among the gods of these lands that delivered out of the, out of the hand that Jehovah should deliver Jerusalem out of my hand? But they held their peace and answered him not a word, for the king's commandment was, saying, Answer him not. Then came Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, that was over a household, and Shebna the scribe, and Joah, and the son of Asap, that recorded to Hezekiah with their clothes rent, and told him the words of Rabshakeh. Okay, Isaiah 37. 
It came to pass when King Hezekiah heard it that he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of Jehovah. And he sent Eliakim, who was over the household, and Shebna the scribe, and the elders of the priests covered with sackcloth, unto Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amaz. And they said to him, Thus saith Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble and rebuke and of blasphemy, for the children are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. It may be Jehovah that Elohim will hear the words of Rabshakeh, whom the king of Assyria, his master, hath sent to reproach the living Elohim, and will prove the words which Jehovah thy Elohim hath heard. Wherefore lift up thy prayer for the remnant that is left. So the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah, and Isaiah said unto them, Thus shall ye say unto your master, Thus saith Jehovah, Be not afraid of the words that thou hast heard, wherewith the servants of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a blast upon him, and he shall hear a rumor, and return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. So Rabshakeh returned and found the king of Assyria warning against Libna, for he had heard that he was departed from Lachish. And he heard say concerning Terhaka, the king of Ethiopia, he has come forth to make war with thee. And when he heard it, he sent messengers to Hezekiah, saying, Thus shall ye speak to Hezekiah, king of Judah, saying, Let not thy Elohim, in whom thou trustest, deceive thee, saying, Jerusalem shall not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria. Behold, thou hast heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all the lands by destroying them utterly, and shalt thou be delivered? Have the gods of the nations delivered them which my fathers have destroyed, as Gozan, and Haran, and Rezep, and the children of Eden, were, which were in Telesar? Where is the king of Hamath, and the king of Arphad, and the king of the city of Sepharvaim, Hena, and Iva? And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. And Hezekiah went up to the house of Jehovah and spread it before Jehovah. And Hezekiah prayed unto Jehovah, saying, O Jehovah of hosts, Elohim of Israel that dwellest between the cherubims, thou art the Elohim. Even thou alone of all the kingdoms of the earth, thou hast made heaven and earth. Amen. Incline thine ear, O Jehovah. And hear, open thine eyes, O Jehovah, and see, and hear all the words of Sennacherib, which hath sent to reproach the living Elohim. Of a truth, Jehovah, the kings of Assyria have laid waste to the nations and their countries, and have cast their gods into the fire, for there were no gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone, therefore they have destroyed them. Now therefore, O Elohim, our, uh, O Jehovah, our Elohim, save us from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art Jehovah even thou only. Then Isaiah the son of Amal sent unto Hezekiah, saying, Thus saith Jehovah Elohim of Israel, whereas thou hast prayed to me against Sennacherib king of Assyria, this is the word which Jehovah hath spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion, hath despised thee, and laughed thee to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem hath shaken her head at thee. Whom hast thou reproached and blasphemed? And against whom hast thou exalted thy voice, and lifted up thine eyes on high, even against the Holy One of Israel? By thy servants hast thou reproached Jehovah, and hast said, By the multitude of my chariots am I come up to the height of the mountains, to the sides of Lebanon, and I will cut down the tall cedars thereof, and the choice fir trees thereof, and I will enter into the height of his border, and the forest of his caramel. I have digged and drunk water. And with the sole of my feet have I dried up all the rivers and besieged places. Hast thou not heard long ago how I have done it, and of ancient times that I have formed it? Now I have brought it to pass, that thou shouldest be to lay waste defense cities into ruinous heaps. Therefore the inhabitants were of small power, they were dismayed and confounded. They were as the grass of the field, and as the green herb, as the grass of the housetops, and as corn blasted before it be grow up. But I know thy abode, and thy going out, and thy coming in, and thy rage against me. Because thy rage against me, and thy tumult is come up into mine ears, therefore I will put Therefore will I put my hook in thy nose, and my bridle in thy lips, and I will turn thee back by the way by which thou camest. And this shall be a sign unto thee, ye shall eat this year such as growth of itself, and the second year that which springeth of the same, and the third year sow ye, and reap, and plant vineyards, and eat the fruit thereof. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward, and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and they 
uh, escape out of the mountain Zion. The zeal of Jehovah of hosts shall do this. Therefore, thus saith Jehovah concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into the city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shields, nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and shall not come into the city, saith Jehovah. For I will defend the city to save it for mine own sake, and for my servant David's sake. And the angel of Jehovah went forth and smote the camp of the Syrians a hundred and fourscore and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. Wow. Wow. We read this too. I'm pretty sure this is just a recap, but wow. So Sancherib, king of Assyria, departed and went and returned and dwelt in Nivea. And it came to pass, as he was worshipping in the house of Nirosh his god, that Adramalek and Sharizar his sons smote him with the sword, and they escaped to the land of Ar Armenia, and Irshadon his son reigned in his stead. Okay. Isaiah 38. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and Isaiah the prophet, the son of Moses, came unto him and said unto him, Thus saith Jehovah, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto Jehovah, and said, Remember now, O Jehovah, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and I have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Then came the word of Jehovah to Isaiah, saying, Go, and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith Jehovah, the Elohim of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years. And I will deliver thee in this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city. And this shall be a sign unto thee from Jehovah, that Jehovah will do this thing that he hath spoken. Jehovah will do this thing I have spoken. Amen to that. Behold, I will bring again the shadow of the degrees, which has gone down the sundial of Ahaz ten degrees backwards. The sun returned ten degrees, by which degrees it was gone down. The writing of Hezekiah king of Judah, when he had been sick, was recovered of his sickness. I said in the cutting off of my days, I shall go to the gates of the grave. I am deprived of the residue of my years. I said, I shall not see Jehovah even the Jehovah in the land of the living. I shall behold man no more with the inhabitants of the world. Mine age is departed and is removed from me as a shepherd's tent. I have cut off like a weaver my life. He will cut me off from pinning sickness. From day even to night wilt thou make an end of me. I reckon till morning that as a lion so will he break all my bones from day even to night. Wilt thou make an end of me? Like a crane or a swallow, so did I chatter. I did mourn as a dove, mine eyes fail with looking upward. O Jehovah, I am oppressed, undertake for me. What shall I say? He hath both spoken unto me, and himself hath done it. I shall go softly all my years in the bitterness of my soul. O Jehovah, behold these things men live, and in all these things in life of my spirit, so wilt thou recover me and make me to live. Behold, for peace I had great bitterness, but thou hast in love to my soul delivered it from the pit of corruption, for thou hast cast all my sins behind thy back. For the grave cannot praise thee, death cannot celebrate thee, they that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. The living, the living, he shall praise thee as I do this day. The Father to the children shall make known thy truth. Jehovah was ready to save me, therefore we will sing my songs to the stringed instruments all the days of our life in the house of Jehovah. For Isaiah had said, Let them take a lump of figs and lay it for a plaster upon the boil, and he shall recover. Hezekiah also had said, What is the sign that I shall go up to the house of Jehovah? And Isaiah 39. At that time, Merodach. Baladan, the son of Baladan, the king of Babylon, sent letters in the present to Hezekiah, and a present. For he had heard that he had been sick and was recovered, and Hezekiah was glad of them, and showed them the house of his precious things, the silver and the gold and the spices and the precious ointment, and all the house of his armor, and all that was found in his treasures. There was nothing in his house, nor in all his domain, that Hezekiah showed them not. Yeah, I remember this. We read this in um, Chronicles, I believe. <laughs> crazy that he showed his enemy that. Then came Isaiah the prophet unto the king Hezekiah and said unto him, What said these men? And from whence came they unto thee? And Hezekiah said, They are come from a far country unto me, even from Babylon. Then said he, What have they seen in thine house? And Hezekiah answered, All that is in mine house have they seen. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not shown them. 
Then said Isaiah to Hezekiah, Hear the word of Jehovah of hosts. Behold the days to come, that all that is in thine house, and that which thy fathers have laid up in store until this day, shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, saith Jehovah. Wow, that's scary. And thy sons that shall issue from thee, which thou shalt beget, shall they take away, and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Balabon. Oh, my word. Then said Hezekiah to Isaiah, Good is the word of Jehovah which thou hast spoken. He said moreover, For there shall be peace and truth in my days. Okay. So he's kind of like, yeah, whatever. That's what it seems like anyway. Alright, daily promise. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Psalm 103, 12. And here's the reflection, and I quote, My prayer, Father, I stand in complete amazement of your unrelenting love for your children. Thank you for the blood of your Son and the eternal grace that you pour out upon us. It seems so unbelievable that you choose to remove and forget our many transgressions against you. Yet you do just that. Make us worthy of your remarkable mercy and grace. End quote. Amen to that. So let's pray. Dear Jehovah, our Elohim, our Abba, thank you for today and thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you for everything you're doing for us and everything you will do. Thank you that we're able to read your word. Please give us discernment so we can correctly and rightly divide the word of truth and that we can learn. I pray the Holy Spirit will guide us, that we can retain all your words in our heart. Thank you again for everything you've done for us and will continue to do. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Abba. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. I hope you have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care, God bless, and remember to put God first in everything you do. See you later.